So here is the ATC 250 SX EX and so forth um, TRX 250 engine. It's the one that was out there. And it is time to bring it back to life. So I got a starter. This is one of those $30 eBay deals. And it looks like it'll go in. I've just put oil in it. Great. One wants to make sure it's full of oil. It didn't have any oil. And as of now, it doesn't appear as if any of that oil is leaking out. So let's get um, to the starter change. Let me set up the camera. So the starter change, obviously not too difficult. Sorry about the shadows. Right. One just has to use an 8 millimeter and take these out. I put them in loose. I think I've had you guys in here before to show you what it looks like. And what we discovered was that the gears were in real nice shape. Um, obviously that's important. And as near as we could tell, there's only one shim we have to worry about losing. Do take note where the long ones and the short ones go. Though, when you're putting it back together, it'll be pretty obvious when a, uh, when a bolt's sticking out this far that it's in the wrong place. Now what was interesting is one of you guys told me from the looks of this, this engine might be an 87. And that, it, um, I mean, that, that's good, right? That would indicate that it's got the newer pieces in it. See this shim here? That's one you really don't want to lose. But quite honestly, you don't even have to take it out for this operation. And this goes here. And I didn't see a shim there. And when I look at um, rebuilds and so forth, I don't, I don't see, or when I look at buying another set of these gears or whatever, I don't see a, a set of shims offered for sale. So let's, uh, let's assume there aren't any. So those are out. Next I have to take these two out. Hopefully the camera kind of showing you the back of the motor. Let's see. Tweak it just a touch. So yeah, hopefully when you um, when you work on on this stuff, the camera work and all that. So we something one could do better at, and the more camera work you do, hopefully the better one gets at it, right? Once again, eight millimeter. So what we're gonna do on this thing is before we attempt to start, we're gonna do a quick compression test. Make sure the engine is inherently correct or sound or whatever you want to say about it right it would be kind of a drag to go through the trouble of tearing an engine off one of these because it's not trivial and going through the big fight of putting it back on by the way I have the engine blocked up on a 2x4 so that it's not sitting on the oil. I kind of do a couple of wiggles and shakes and all to get it out. Now that it's out, I am seeing a difference. My 8 millimeter is now lost. This one here is the OEM one. And this one is the China one. So you can see there's this little tab on here. 
the little tab and the bearing they have would actually keep things straighter so to speak you get less weeble especially when you have a lot of torque on the starter so the OEM one is better than the China copy obviously so the install is easy enough right just flip it in and work I am going to put the gear in just to see what it feels like. Make sure it's going to go in quite honestly. Feels pretty good. Alright, now installing it is just the reverse of taking it apart these two bolts in, put the other bolts in, make sure the thing seats properly obviously and we should be grinding on this thing in just a few moments okay we have the jump pack set up to the starter and I just want to make sure that there's nothing too bad in there you can see it moving a little little mist out I have to admit I put some W I just gave it a quick spritz of WD-40 to make sure there's nothing bad in there. I'm going to hook up the uh, compression tester and let's see what kind of compression we have. Okay, looks like you're going to be able to see everything. So here's the compression tester. This compression tester is nothing great. It's the, um, it's the one up from the bottom, Harbor Freight one. I've been happy with it. I think one has to kind of change by a new compression tester every once in a while and I think the reason why is they kind of go bad the, um, the meter kind of goes bad Okay, well, getting a little less than 90. I would have liked to see more than that. What are you going to do? Well, let's hope it starts and let's hope it doesn't smoke too bad. There you are. Um, next up, i got to get the compression tester out of the way and get a carburetor onto it. I think you guys could see I already got my Mickey Mouse um, <laughs> adapter plate right here. So I'm going to bolt up a carburetor, put the plug in it, put the, um, the CDI box. Uh, be right back. We want to test out the spark now. Now obviously for a spark plug to spark you need ground and you need the high voltage line. For the CDI to trigger a spark you need ground and the red wire which is the CDI input goes to the blue and yellow there. Right I have it all plugged in. Kind of a little ugly but it is plugged in. In this box 12 volt CDI with 12 volts worth of AA batteries and obviously there's a spark coil here. So just turn this on. Well, hopefully you guys can see that. And there we are. Now it's just a uh, spark plug, the right spark plug into spark plug hole and then I have to put some fumes into there and the engine will be running okay this is really sketchy I don't have a throttle handy for this so I just turned up the idle obviously I have that heater running in here and the air intake comes from the base from the floor so really one 
doesn't want to be inhaling any gas vapors or anything, right? That's how one goes boom. So um, I shut that down. Anyway, I did put some gas in here. You could see the CDI box and all that. We're going to try to give this thing a start. And I'm going to try to hang on to it so it doesn't fall to the floor. That would, like, really be lousy. So um, I'm probably not going to be in here that much longer once it starts because the smoke is going to stink. But here, let's see if I can't get a little more picture. than that all right let's see how she does all right see the eye box is on engage the starter and let's give it a little choke <laughs> I want to thank you all for dropping by to watch and comment and subscribe. Um, I'm counting my lucky stars that it didn't fall off the bench and self-destruct. It's got no smoke or bad, um, um, bad sounds. Actually, it seems to run really nice. This would be a, a great engine to put on one of these. Now it's just which one do I want to install it on. Take care now, folks.